So tell us about the um, tell us about the <laughs> tell us tell me about the fuel economy. The fuel it runs on nothing. Talk it, me through it. It runs on thanks actually. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, no, that about a bit of a slip the, up. What's the fuel capacity? Uh, well, it holds plenty, but you got to fill the thing up for it to hold it. <laughs> uh, I'm Tom, uh, Chippy, and I fish out of uh, this sea crew as a bulldog. We're at Walkerville North uh, boat ramp. Swells down, so it's been a cracking day. Yeah, it's 4.8 with a 90 Suzuki. It's pretty agricultural, but that's exactly what we want. Yeah, like the ability to get in close to land is really good. Like we dive, we just have to pump up the front and if we're within 100 metres, we can normally dive like real close to that coastline. And yeah, the Bulldog is quite wide inside, so we can really like fit three people diving and a pump up the front with hose and all your gear. So I do like having the ability to take a lot of gear and still have plenty of room to get around and not have walking over stuff. There's uh, gunnel pockets on the whole boat, like length of the boat. We've got the centre console in the middle and then a cast, cast deck up the front, just perfect size to fit fish bins up there. The transom under the back's also good for gear as well because they fit fish bins as well. So yeah, just storage wise is really good. Yeah, the bottom and side sheets are constructed with four mil plate. Bulldog's got a 90 litre tank, which runs really well with the Suzuki. It's got a 90 horsepower on it, so it's got maximum amount you can put on it. But like with the transom that it's got and the weight of the rest of the boat, I reckon it really suits well and you wouldn't want much less. Uh, it does about 30 knots wide open throttle. On days like this, you can drive it flat out everywhere. Um, so no, it is really good. Uh, it's got a, we put a cav plate on not long ago, just to give that ass a bit more lift. I know it doesn't look that good, I hate the look of it, but it has helped. It's just given us a bit more trim and better, substantially better hole shot when we are diving in close. But uh, it doesn't look ideal, I must admit. <laughs> yeah, this is one new Hilux I got it last year. Um, it's been a good thing so far, it tows this fine. the fridge in the back and it's just good for everything that I do, work and that. So the boat, I think the boat comes in at about just under a tonne and then we've got about 350 for the trailer so it's only, it's like it's a heavy boat for the size it is but it's fine to get around and the ground that we cover, it's good to tow around so I don't mind doing plenty of k's to get to places. We do fish like offshore a bit in it and um, I think it handles really well, like it doesn't it pushes water, you do get a bit wet when it is coming like side on, but I think that's the same with every other centre console, so. Back in Sereno and that, we fish a lot of the whiting and flathead and squid, but I just like the ability to fish the whole, pretty much 360 out of the boat. Um, and like it's really quite stable at rest, so you can get up on these back corners and fish up there. And I just like the ability to have, if there is stuff up the front, you can fish down the back and vice versa. Yeah, it's got a 14 degree dead rise as well. I'm running a Lowrance sounder. Yeah, it's been really good so far. Hopefully, maybe I'll get a bigger one down the, down the track. There's two rod holders on either side, um, and then we just like sit in snapper racks at the back when we are fishing at anchor. What do I love most about it? I think it's just like the ability to do everything in it. Like there's not much I miss out on. So yeah, it's a big little boat, so I'm happy with it, yeah. And it's like super comfortable, stable, yeah, no complaints. Rich has done a great job. Yeah, Richardson Marine down in Warrnambool, they're great to deal with. We've had no dramas whatsoever. Not that there's been any issues, they'd fix it up, I'm sure. Yeah, just super practical. I reckon practical would be my number one. Yep. Practical, tough, and just easy. Yeah, easy to use. Yeah, I reckon if I was to change anything, it would be the dive door. I saw Richardson Marine put one in there, another one of their Bulldogs, and it just looked good. It would be super practical. Save coming in over the back of the boat. I love coming in from the side and just, it would be easy, like, packing on the trailer and that. Yeah, it was a good early start yesterday. Um, so the tide was up, we launched on the other side of the beach, but, um, yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, like, down here at Walkerville, because it is a bit of a remote beach launch, 
you don't get as many big boats down here and it is good to have a boat like this that is super stable and comfortable all day and still be able to launch it off the beach. Yeah, we targeted the Kings yesterday over at the Great Glenny Islands. Uh, we went shell back and Norman for a bit. We didn't have much action, but uh, the weather over there is unreal and the, the view and the whole island, it's a great place. Yeah, I was came down with my mate Mitch and we do a lot of diving together, so it was good to have someone you do a lot, spend a lot of time with, you really know what he's like underwater and uh, what he's like on the boat. We do do a lot of fishing on top, so it is good once you get a system going and it runs smoothly, hopefully. <laughs> well, I've dived um, Glennies before, it's like real, that granite boulder, it's real hard going on the craze just because they've got so far to go back. But um, yeah, it's just like big rocks and deep caves, it is, it is a lovely part. The best bit about catching craze is the effort you got to go to get them, and when you got your hands on them you still don't have them. That's the bit I love. Yeah, it's the challenge on them, and they bust up your hands. <laughs>